Oh yeah, the return keyword. Now the return keyword returns data back to the place where a method is invoked. So let's create a method to multiply two numbers together, something simple. So when we declare a method, we'll have to make sure that we do it outside of our main method. So right here, so we will say static void and we will name this method multiply. And we'll need to pass in two numbers as arguments. Let's say that the data type will be double, double X and double Y. Okay, now we would like to multiply these two numbers together and we will store them within double variable Z, double Z equals X times Y. Now to return data back to the place where it's invoked, we can use this return keyword. And what kind of data would we like to return? Let's return whatever Z is. Now there's one change that we need to make. We need to replace this void keyword with the data type of what we're returning exactly. So since we're returning a double, we'll change void to double. If you're not returning anything, you can just keep that keyword as void. Now we can use this multiply method to, well, multiply two numbers together. So let's write a program where we will ask a user for some user input, multiply two numbers together, then return the result and display it. So let's accept some user input. And first we should probably declare the variables that we'll need. Double X, double Y, and double, let's call this result. And we will ask the user to enter in number one. And then assign X equal, and we'll need to convert the user's input to a double because it's always a string when we accept user input. X equals convert dot to double, then add a set of parentheses. Within the parentheses, console.readLine. And we'll do the same thing for variable y. Enter in number 2, and then change x to y. Now, if we need to assign results of value, we can use this multiply method. So type multiply, add a set of parentheses to invoke it, but we'll need to pass two matching arguments because we have two parameters set up. We need to pass in two double values or variables. So we will pass X and Y as arguments to this method multiply. So this return keyword will return whatever Z is back to the spot in where this method is invoked. And we will store the result within this variable named result. And then we should probably display it. Let's display result. And, well, that's it. Let's try it. Enter in number one. Have you always wondered what pi times 420 is? Well, we're about to find out. It is 1318.8. So yeah, that is the return keyword. It returns data back to the place where a method is invoked. And if you would like, you can actually shorten this even further. We don't necessarily need to store the result within, you know, a new variable. We could just say return x times y, and that would work the same too. That is the return keyword. It returns data back to the place where a method is invoked. If you're able to, give this video a thumbs up, leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, that's the return keyword in C-sharp.